this is Brett with Piano Aha, and in this video, as in the series of videos to follow, we'll be talking about Bach's famous prelude in C major. In each one of these videos, we'll talk about some different aspect of the piece, whether it be reading the music as quickly as possible, or being able to memorize the piece easily, or playing it as beautifully as you can. In this video, I want to give you a tip about practicing. In fact, I would say it's the most important important tip that I can give you as far as how to practice this piece. Let me show you what I mean. So you might have the idea that the best way to learn this piece would be to find the first note and play it, find the second note and play it, find the third note and play it, find the fourth note and play it, find the fifth note and play it, etc. until you've played the entire piece. I'd like to give you a different tip in this video, and that is to see this here as a block. These are just notes that you can play all at one time. In other words, you can find this entire group all at one time. The same thing goes for this group, the same thing goes for this group, the same thing goes for this group, etc. Always the notes between these pauses here, which means these rests. Now, I can even do you one better. Don't just play in these blocks, but play in entire measures, because you can see that within this measure, there's a repetition, right? Now that repeats itself. So there's no need to play that in that form. Just play all these notes at one time. So now you've taken care of the entire first measure. Now you play the entire second measure. And now you play the entire third measure, the entire fourth measure, etc. Now the end of the piece might look a little bit different. You can't grab everything at once. Now just play the first four notes of the right hand. So you play the left hand and the first four notes of the right hand. And here the same. So that's how I would practice that. In other words, spend your time solving the problem that you actually have. You probably do not have the problem of not knowing how to move your fingers. The problem that you're probably dealing with is that you don't know how to find the notes quickly enough that your fingers would have to be resting on when they start moving. So solve that problem by playing all of the notes in one measure at one time. So there is a small aha for this first video. We'll see you in the rest of the videos.